Welcome to the FluviDust series. This video is about a low-pass filtered resistive divider circuit. When would you use such a thing? Well, one instance I can think of is in a power supply supervisor circuit. You make the voltage division to fit within the range of a precision reference and filter the power supply noise. I'll be making an upcoming video on that, so that's why I wanted to do this first. Here is the circuit. It's simply a voltage divider with a capacitor on the output. Bear in mind the output will need to go into a high input impedance op amp or comparator to not throw off the cutoff frequency. We can use our friend, the Thevenin theorem, to do the circuit analysis. The first thing to do is to short the voltage source. That makes R1 in parallel with R2. Then the R Thevenin equivalent resistance is those resistors in parallel, which is the product over the sum equation. That simplifies the circuit to a simple RC network. The Thevenin equivalent voltage is simply the voltage divider equation. I'll rearrange to solve that for V out over V in and call that alpha. Let's make the alpha 0.1. We can let R1 be 90K and R2 be 10K. R7 comes out to 9K. This is the cutoff frequency of a single pole low pass filter. Rearrange to solve for the capacitor. Now let's design it for a cutoff frequency of 100 Hz. C comes out to 0 0.177 microfarads. From our experience, we all know that it's best to start by choosing a capacitor value to start with, since the E24 series is the most common for capacitors, and that's so much more coarse than selecting 1% resistor values. So we can use a little algebra to make an equation to calculate the resistor values. Simplify alpha by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 1 over R2. Rearrange to solve for R1 over R2. I'm calling sigma the ratio of R1 over R2. Then R1 equals sigma times R2. Then substitute sigma R2 in place of the occurrences of R1. Then factor out R2. It's clear to see this will be a quadratic, so I'll rearrange it and set it equal to zero. Then using the quadratic equation to solve for R2, inputting the coefficients, and here's our solution for R2. Let's do an example design with a cutoff frequency of 100 Hz. If you watch the Solemn Key component selection video, I introduced the concept of a geometric mean capacitance yielding the just right capacitor value. That's 4 times 10 to the minus 7 farads per square root hertz. For a cutoff frequency of 100 hertz, that gives us 0 0.04 microfarads. The closest E24 value is 0 0.039 microfarads. The R Thevenin resistance comes out to 40.809K. Set the attenuation to 10% of Vn, that yields the sigma of 9. Plugging all the numbers in gives us a value for R2 as 45.343K. Then multiply R2 by sigma, and we get R1, which is 408.087K. Let's take a minute and prove that R1 in parallel with R2 is correct. And of course it is. The closest E96 resistor values are 45.3K and 412K. I'll now derive a transfer function for the circuit. Here's the parallel combination of C and R2. Simplify by multiplying the numerator and denominator by SC. Then place that into the voltage divider equation. Add the fractions in the denominator using a common denominator. Distribute R1 and add the fractions. Finally, multiply the numerator and denominator by SCR2 plus 1 to simplify. I of course put it in Excel. Notice at low frequencies in DC the attenuation is minus 20 dB which is 20 times the log of our alpha at point 0.1. And the cutoff frequency 3 dB below that is at minus 23 dB at 100 Hz. 
Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.